Hello, my name is Wispy. Today, we're gonna be looking at the Ager Scepter Trace Rifle with the Catalyst. I know time is important for me when it comes to gaming. So we're gonna take a look and see, is this Catalyst gonna be worth your time to grind out? I think it is. Let's take a look. So this Catalyst you can get from doing Astro Alignment. It's a random drop from the last chest. So, as a reminder, Ager Scepter, final blows of this weapon generate a slowing burst around targets. Stasis final blows transfer ammo from reserves into the magazine. The Catalyst drains super energy and overflows your mag, empowering the beam. This gives it an 80% damage buff, as well as double the ammo in the magazine, and it's going to slowly drain your super. So let's take a look at that. Just straight raw damage. One clip from a catalyst, one clip without the catalyst. So me and Ham, I'm firing with the catalyst. He's firing his without the catalyst. Now, of course, mine is overflowed, so I do have double the ammo. I'm also doing 80% extra damage compared to his. And we're going to see what the results are. No buffs, just straight shooting the gun. So you look at those two numbers, that's a 435% damage increase raw from clip, just clip to clip. We each shot one clip of what we had available. That makes it worth it right there. That's insane. And for hunters and warlocks, it's gonna uh, synchronize great with your stasis subclass. For titans, uh, our subclass isn't the great. Behemoth isn't the best as far as synergy. But, I mean, I was even able to, you know, put together just using Whisper of Bonds on my Stasis subclass. And with enough adds here in uh, the Shattered Throne Thrallway, uh, when I activate the ability here, even though it's draining, with enough kills, I'm actually able to get my super completely back while it's draining. Which also kills the effect, but you see what I mean. Um, it could even be useful for Titans. Maybe it's a better use of our super energy than our super itself. <laughs> you know, honestly, at this point. So, is it worth getting from that raw damage standpoint? Yeah. I, you should definitely play Astro Alignment. Get yourself the Catalyst. And then my second recommendation, once you get the Catalyst to do the kills, come here to the Shattered Throne Dungeon and the Dreaming City. Uh, and come to, you can you can Google Thrallway. Shatter Throne Thrallway, it'll show you how to get there. If you need a checkpoint, message me, comment, subscribe, like this video, um, and I, I can sync up with you, and I, I'll get you the checkpoint for the week. So the checkpoint, you know, resets every week. It's easy enough to, uh, to go through yourself or find a buddy, get to this point, and grind out that catalyst. I would not recommend Shiro Chi because the explosion kills from stasis of you freezing enemies does not count towards your catalyst progress. It's just the raw kills. So I literally stood in here for t maybe 20 minutes just firing my beam over and just killing the shadow thralls they came out, not really paying attention to what was frozen and what wasn't, and I still got it in no time. So I would 100% for time's sake I would come here to complete your catalyst kills. I think it's worth completing. It can just, it's gonna have so much synergy with, especially hunters and warlocks, with your aspects that you have available. It's it's insane. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Uh, I thought it was pretty neat to see. Um, it was a fun test I did with Ham. And um, I, I, wish, I wish Titans had better ways to make shards because I tried it, I tried to make a build um, with the Elemental Well mod that just came out to where I could, if there was something where I could make more Satia shards and I, I can't make as many as Hunters and especially Warlocks to, to, to double up on those other mods. Um, like to get more super back or hey, even to hey, benefit up? from uh, Font of Wisdom, Font of Might, stuff like that to, to crank up Aegers even more. Um, I can, just not as much as I would like to, or at least as much as the other classes. So, hopefully in Witch Queen, um, maybe we'll see some Behemoth reworks that will make them as cool as the Hunter and Warlock. 
stasis subclasses. I, I hope to see that. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. I hope this was helpful. A really cool side by side. Um, if, again, if you like this video, like, subscribe. I'll, I'll try to make more of these. Um, or let me know in the comments what you want to see more of, and I'll test those out. And um, hopefully, I'll try to put out some decent behemoth builds with this. I haven't figured one out yet. If I do, I'll make sure and let you know. Um, you guys have a great night, great day. I'll catch you all soon. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.